Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you joined me on my very first upload a couple of weeks ago, and welcome for anyone who's joining me for the first time. If you haven't checked out my first video, do go back and have a look because this build is quite different to the last one. So I've gone for, yeah, very um, opposite feel um, and vibe of the house. My first one was kind of based on me as a teenager living with my mum just the two of us so it's quite small um, it's a pretty modest little home and then for this build I've gone completely the opposite way so I really stuck with a budget with the last one and this one I wasn't thinking about budget at all I was just thinking give me all of the fancy objects make it shine make it pretty doesn't matter how much it costs I really need to get more hours of building under my belt because editing these videos, making these videos, it's new to me. So I'm still learning and I'm finding that while also holding down a full-time job, it's taking up so much of my time to do these. So I think really the reason behind that is that I'm not so used to building in The Sims. I, even though I've been playing for so many years, I still you know, have only been really playing part-time. So I need to get better at remembering things, items that are in the build and buy mode and having them come to my mind before I start building. So at the moment, what I'm tending to do is going through every single door when I'm looking for a door. And that's just not going to be realistic for me long-term because it takes a long time. This house I don't even want to tell you how many hours it took me to build to the house and that was starting with a shell. So the other thing is that I thought why don't I practice building by finding shell challenges because that's going to cut out a little bit of my time trying to figure out what uh, the shape of the house is going to be and I found this one through uh, Sydney who's a simmer who's been um, doing videos for quite some time and the uh, Sid Mac Shell 5 is the one I'm working on here. And she released it last month and it was actually due beginning of this month, so beginning of May. And I took so long to build this. I only saw that she was doing the challenge sort of near the end of it. And I was really, really, I really wanted to try and get it in on time because I was, I even though it took me so long and I'm still learning to build, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I really love this home and I've actually been playing it in my Sims game because I also really love the family that I created for it, which I'll uh, talk about a little bit later as well. So this is the Sid Mac Shell 5 and I was up against the clock and unfortunately I was, I think, you know, 24 hours too late to upload it to the gallery. So... <laughs> That was really frustrating, but never mind, it happens. Um, I'll just have to be faster next time, and I think the more that I build, the faster I will definitely get. So it is on the gallery. Uh, you can uh, search for my gallery ID, Kiwi Sims Kate. I wanted to create a Hamptons-inspired holiday home. I really love watching, not all, but some of the seasons of uh, Real Housewives. And one of my favorite is the Real Housewives of New York. And the ladies on the Real Housewives of New York, some of them have holiday homes in the Hamptons. So they live primarily in New York City. They're definitely city women. But uh, every year they will head out to the Hamptons to their fancy homes and it's a bit of a getaway from the city and it's quite a different vibe in terms of their, what their houses are like and how they're um, decorated. So I wanted to create my own version of Real Housewives. So I've made this house and I've made a family. I've hashtagged it on the gallery as RH. O S M. So Real Housewives of San Myshuno. San Myshuno being the city world in The Sims 4. So my family lives in San Myshuno full time and they come out to Brindleton Bay where they spend their summers and holiday and entertain, invite all their friends around and have big kind of pool parties and 
catered events and things. So that was my design inspiration for the home. I wanted it to look like it had just, you know, it could fit perfectly in the Hamptons. I've more or less finished with the exterior. I might make a couple of small changes, but I've added all the windows and the doors and I've kind of got the the look of how I want it to be outside. It's really fresh, it's really light, it's got a lot of blues, sort of almost seaside inspired. Uh, and now I'm working on the interior. The interior was more of a challenge than I thought because I didn't quite realize once I got all the walls up, once I got all the furniture in, how small the actual interior is. And I was in my head, you know, thinking big grand rooms and huge entranceway and, you know, very fancy and expensive home. And then when I started building, I was kind of, thinking oh crap this is not really gonna work as I was gonna have to get quite creative with how I made the layout for the house so I definitely struggled as I'm still taking so long to make my builds unfortunately the editing of the videos might seem really jumpy to you so I do apologize for that it's purely because I didn't want you to be sitting there watching a you know 24 hour speed build that's not fun for anyone so the house uh, is built with a particular household in mind that I've made in the sims I've also uploaded them to the gallery you can use the hashtag rhosm for that family as well they are called the Schrader family and they are a three-person family there is a father, his name's Cedric Schrader, and he's a businessman and he's, I've set him as an elder, um, but in real life he'd probably be not quite an actual elder, but the idea is that he's considerably older than his wife, and his wife's name is Diana. When I was thinking of the age gap, I was thinking kind of something like um, Erica from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and her husband who's quite a bit older than her. So he's a real successful businessman. He uh, invests in stocks and he's in the business career and he's pretty well known in that industry in the city in San Myshuno. His wife is Diana and she's the star of Real Housewives of San Myshuno. So she is really beautiful and they have a penthouse apartment in San Myshuno and then they've got this holiday home here. And Diana is unemployed. She's a housewife and she spends a lot of her time socializing with her friends and obviously the filming of Real Housewives of San Myshuno also takes up a lot of her time. She has sort of projects and charity work, uh, but she, she doesn't hold down a traditional full-time job. And their daughter is Emerson, and she is a real spoilt brat. She, she has some responsibility trait, but that's mostly because of being around really fancy places and really she knows that she has to behave in certain situations. You know, she has got, uh, it's sort of closer, I I was thinking to sort of etiquette skills rather than responsibility. Um, but she, other than that, she's just a real snob. She's a bit of a socialite. So she really wants to be uh, in the know in the city. And she's a real city girl. So she doesn't really love coming out here to Brindleton Bay in the summer. Uh, her parents drag her out here, but she hates it because often uh, her friends aren't out here they're still back in the city she's a teenager so um i think i will send her off to in my gameplay at least um send her off to university maybe like nyu or something in my in my head but really she'll be focusing more on her social lifestyle than her studies she might study fashion or something she wants to be a famous actor she's all about that fame life so that's the family I've made this house for. The house has three bedrooms. So there's a master bedroom and it leads out to a deck out the back that I've put a uh, massage table out there. And the massage table is inspired by a specific Real Housewives of New York episode. 
probably a few years ago, maybe two or three years ago now, one of the housewives... Uh, Sonia, she has a New York townhouse and there's a scene where she has her massage out on the deck outside. I think it's outside her bedroom, I'm not sure. And they kind of gossip in that. Yeah, I wanted to kind of bring in as many elements from things that I'd seen or been inspired by in the TV show um, as possible. I'm decorating the living room now and this is the main family room. They don't tend to hang out there that much. Uh, they're either outside entertaining or down in town meeting friends. I really wanted to open up this space because it's such an awkward... She really made the shell challenge quite difficult. These little nooks on the side of uh, each side of the house, I didn't know exactly what to do. So you see on one side of the house, I actually replaced part of the walls with fences and I made little hedge sections by the dining room area and then on the living room side of the house I just made a sort of conservatory feel to it so I put the glass ceiling uh, glass roof sorry and the um, glass windows all wrapped around that odd shaped wall Upstairs, I'm trying to make things look really lavish, really rich, lots of rich furnishings, lots of rich looking colours, so coppers and golds and bronzes, some deep colours as well as trying to make the house look quite bright. So I didn't just want to put white everywhere, that's super boring. I wanted to switch in some more bold colors so in the uh, main bedroom the master bedroom I use a really beautiful deep blue wallpaper I think that wallpaper came from paranormal stuff and I swear it's got to be now one of the best wallpapers we have it's so gorgeous and the colors that it comes in are just I love them they're they're so great so I'm Trying to find expensive looking decor items. I found decorating the house to be a lot easier. Doing the interior was a lot easier for me. Although it took me a long time because I like to look through absolutely everything in the menu. I'm a bit uh, particular like that. But I found it a lot easier to decide on things. Whereas the outside of the house as I was starting it was a lot more tricky. Actually if anyone has any recommended uh, simmers who create shell challenges regularly I'd love to hear about them so please do comment below if you know of anyone that brings out shell challenges on the rig because I'd like to really try and flex my muscles room challenges would be a really good one for me to start on and I'll just try and smash out a bunch of rooms the bathroom here I love this bathroom I love this double shower idea so there are two doors left and right it's kind of a his and hers shower so you can either have both showers going at the same time uh, and get you know double water hit which would be terrible on your water bill but this family clearly would not mind um, or you can have two people showering at the same time if you know that takes your fancy this room here is the guest room so second room near the back of the house on the um, top floor that also has another deck outside with just a seating area and it's um, you know it's super modern fresh kind of beachy vibes again uh, and I really loved using these um, these clothing shoe wardrobe things that I think came from um, the pack with Del Sol Valley, the Get Famous. They got these really great, I just love that whole range of those uh, really fancy high class uh, wardrobes. Um, and it had a really great swatch that I thought the colours went really well with that um, wallpaper that I'd chosen there. And then the third bedroom is Emerson's room. Um, again, it's really small. I had such a tough time getting as you know getting a lot of great things into these rooms and making them look expensive. 
without cluttering up too much and you know making it I needed to make it playable so I actually I had to apologize I've uploaded two versions of this home to the gallery because by the time I realized I needed to play test my house I'd already uploaded one version and turns out the sims cannot enter the guest room bed in that so frustrating and then another I think there's an armchair in the lounge that they also can't sit on so I'm so sorry about that if you've downloaded that one um, I've re-uploaded the home I didn't want to take down the first one because some people had already um, I think saved it so I didn't want to screw up anyone's plans with that so I just uploaded the second one and explained in the um, in the description that it has been play tested so I adjusted a couple of things so if you're looking for this home just make sure that you uh, grab the more recent version um, and it should say something in the comments about adjusting for you know being play tested so lesson learned there you know you gotta learn by doing things I suppose and uh, I'm definitely learning <laughs> So um, yeah, Emerson's room, I loved the closet I, I created with those sliding doors and the big mirrors on the inside. And it really, even though the room is so tiny, it made the room look so much larger than it actually is. So I was quite proud of that. And then moving back downstairs, trying to get the um, kind of uh, communal areas decorated I also created a an office that's predominantly for Diana so she kind of keeps up with her social media and her friends and Cedric would work from the office so he probably stays late nights and he doesn't necessarily work from home he's not home a lot he'll go to work and then he'll you know stay out with the uh, with his work colleagues out for a drink or something and come home late so the office is really decorated primarily with Diana in mind the mother not so much Cedric even though he's the businessman I built this lot in Brindleton Bay in the 40 by 40 lot called it's a good house it's the one with the Hecking family already in it so I evicted them sorry Hecking family and I created this in this lot but then after I built it for my gameplay I actually moved it still within Brindleton Bay, but I moved it across the other side of the map to the uh, 40 by 30 lot called Tails End. And that's the one, if you're looking at the map, it's at the far left side. And it does fit, so you can, I did have to do a couple of little adjustments. So I had to move the yacht a little closer to the car, and then it did fit there. And I think it looks a lot better on that space, I think, um, what I wanted was from that lot there's a really beautiful view over the water because it's sort of elevated and you can see down to the yachts in the dock so I thought when they're coming to the Hamptons even though they're coming for a relaxing holiday they're still socializing a lot seeing friends wanting to be in on the action so I wanted this house to be close to where all the things are happening in Brindleton Bay I've kept the landscaping for this lot purposefully quite minimal. I imagine they have a gardener who just tidies things up for them. They don't have a ton of plants. They just want their home to look really nice and tidy. They're not super fussy about having a big garden area and they certainly don't need anything where they're going to be planting. I grabbed that yacht from the debug menu but when you place it next to a house, it's ridiculously large. It doesn't really look very realistic. So I think I sized it down twice and it looks a lot more in proportion. Now I'm moving into the backyard, dining and entertaining area. Lots of space for cooking, although they wouldn't probably do the cooking themselves. They'd hire a chef. When I play this um, in my own game, I hire a butler for them. They have a, a live-in butler. Although uh, it didn't really work with the bedrooms. He's got way too a fancy room. Too much of a fancy room. But now that the shower challenge is over, because you're not allowed to add basements, I might add him some kind of a basement or an outdoor access 
basement and he can have his own sort of live-in area. Nearly finished, I sort of, the outdoor area was the last thing I do. I do tend to start with my interiors and then move on to the landscaping in the outside area. I definitely needed a bar. I thought Diana, she doesn't cook, but she does mix her drink. She knows how to mix a cocktail. She probably was, you know, working in a bar when she was young, straight out of school, coming to the big city or something, and maybe that's how she met her husband. And so she that's definitely a skill that I've built into her. If you download them, she she's she's not bad with um, making a little cocktail or two. And then I also fenced the pool. I don't know about other countries around the world, but certainly in Australia and New Zealand, if you're constructing a swimming pool, you must put a fence around it. So it's just sort of second nature to me, even when I'm building in The Sims, you know, it's not like they have laws there, but I just can't help myself. I have to put a fence around it because, uh, I don't know, for some reason, I, I think, you know, have to prevent accidents. So that's why I've popped that uh, glass fence around. I also just think it looks nice. It kind of frames the pool a bit more. And then I'm coming up to the screenshot soon. So I hope you've enjoyed the build. I spent so long building this, but I am really, really, really happy with how it turned out. Even though I'd like it to be bigger and grander, the size of it actually works in terms of play because you're not you're not taking too long to get from place to place, which can sometimes be an issue in really large houses in The Sims. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching my build. Check out my first one, which came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, and as I explained in that one, I'm going to try and release my videos every fortnight to begin with. And then I'm hoping also to maybe do a bit of streaming, either on YouTube or Twitch at some point, um, when I kind of figure out how I want to set that up. But Thanks for joining me. You can grab this on the gallery at Kiwi Sims Kate and the family as well at Kiwi Sims Kate. You can also follow me on Twitter. So any updates there, I'm at Kiwi Sims Kate. Instagram, same handle at Kiwi Sims Kate. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.